Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to create the Windows 11 VM on Hyper-V using Windows PowerShell. In the previous video, we installed the Hyper-V server role on this Windows Server 2025 machine. We also downloaded the Windows 11 ISO image which is saved in the ISO image folder on the F drive. First, let's launch a Windows PowerShell admin prompt. Right click the Windows Start button and select Terminal Admin to launch the PowerShell with administrative permissions. We will use the new hyphen VM command to create a Windows 11 VM in Hyper-V. Type parameter hyphen name. Now enter the name of the VM such as win 11 hyphen VM02. Type parameter hyphen memory startup bytes and then specify the amount of RAM you want to allocate to this VM. For this example, I'll assign 4GB of RAM to the VM. Next, specify parameter hyphen generation. You can create either generation 1 or generation 2 VMs, but for Windows 11, you must create a generation 2 VM. Type parameter hyphen new VHD path and then specify the path and the VHD file name where you want to store the new virtual hard disk. In this example, I want to create new virtual hard disk with the name win11-vm02.vhdx and want to store under the VHDS folder on the D drive. Then we need to specify the VHD size. For that, type parameter new VHD size byte and specify the VHD size. In this case, I am creating a VHD with a size of 100 GB. There are also additional parameters which you can use as per your requirement. But in this video, I want to keep it simple. So this command creates a new virtual machine named win11-vm02 with 4 GB of RAM and 100 GB virtual hard disk. You can modify the settings as needed. Press Enter key. The VM is created successfully. Let's verify that. Enter the command get-vm and press Enter to view the list of VMs on this Hyper-V host. We can confirm that the VM named win11-vm02 is present and is currently powered off. Creating virtual machines with PowerShell may seem difficult at first but it's actually a straightforward process. Once you get the hang of it, you can create a single PowerShell script that fully meets your needs. Additionally, you can enhance the script by adding more configuration options. Next, we will use the sat-vm command to adjust the processor count for the VM. For example, we want to assign four virtual processors to the win11-vm02 virtual machine. Type command sat-vm-name and then type the name of your VM. In our case, the VM name is win11-vm02. Use hyphen processor count parameter and then type the value 4 to assign four virtual processors to this virtual machine. Press Enter key. Now type command get hyphen vm hyphen name win 11 hyphen vm 02 pipe format list processor count and press Enter key. Check the value 4 in the output to verify that the number of processors is set to 4 for this virtual machine. Let me clear the screen. The next step is to attach the Windows 11 ISO image to this virtual machine. I have stored the Windows 11 ISO image in a folder named ISO image on the F drive. Go back to Windows PowerShell. We will use the command add-vmdvd drive to attach Windows 11 ISO image to this virtual machine. Now use hyphen vm name switch to specify the name of your virtual machine. In our example, it is going to be win11-vm02. Use the hyphen path switch to specify the path to the ISO image. In our example, the ISO image is stored on a F drive under the folder named ISO image. Press Enter key to attach Windows 11 ISO image to our virtual machine win11-vm02. Run the command get-vmdvd drive-vm name win11-vm02 to view the ISO image information. We can verify that Windows 11 ISO image is successfully mounted to this virtual machine. Next, we need to modify the boot order and set the ISO image as the primary boot device. But first, let's check the current boot order. Type command get-vm, hyphen name win11-vm02, pipe get-vm firmware, pipe select boot order. Let's press enter key to view the boot order of the virtual machine win11-vm02. Currently, the network adapter is set as the primary boot device. 
we need to set the dvd drive as the primary boot device instead let's create a new variable to specify the dvd drive path type command dollar boot image is equal to get hyphen vm dvd drive hyphen vm name win 11 hyphen vm 02 let's press enter key to create boot image variable the variable is created successfully type dollar boot image and press enter key we can see the iso image name and its path that are currently mounted to this vm this will be set as the first boot device in the virtual machine let's use set hyphen vm firmware command to change the boot order type command set hyphen vm firmware hyphen vm name which is going to be win 11 hyphen vm 02 hyphen first boot device here we are going to use variable boot image which we have created earlier now press enter key Use this command to check the current boot order for the VM named win11-vm02. We can confirm that the boot order is changed successfully. Now, DVD drive is set as a primary boot. Since Windows 11 requires TPM 2.0, we need to enable virtual TPM in the VM settings. Type command enable-vm-tpm, hyphen VM name, which is going to be win11-vm02, and then press enter. We are encountering an error that says the selected security settings of a virtual machine cannot be changed without a valid key protector configured. This is because the VM key protector is not enabled for the virtual machine. To resolve this, we need to configure the VM key protector settings. We will use the sat-vm key protector command to configure the VM key protector setting. Type command sat-vm key protector hyphen VM name here we have to specify the name of our virtual machine. In my case, it is win11-vm02. Use parameter hyphen new lock key protector and press enter key. Now again run the enable hyphen vm tpm command to enable the tpm. This time the command completed successfully. All the required settings are now configured. You can adjust them as needed to suit your requirements. With the Windows 11 VM now configured, we can go ahead and start the VM. Before starting the VM, I want to connect to a virtual machine using virtual machine connection. Type command vmconnect.exe localhost win11-vm02. Here localhost specifies the local Hyper-V host and win11-vm02 is the name of our virtual machine. Press enter key to connect to our virtual machine win11-vm02. Click on start to start the virtual machine and begin the Windows 11 installation. But we want to use Windows PowerShell to start the virtual machine. Let's go back to PowerShell. Run the cm delete start hyphen vm hyphen name win 11 hyphen vm 02 where win 11 hyphen vm 02 is the name of the virtual machine we created. Press enter key and go back to vm connect window. The virtual machine is started. Press any key on your keyboard to boot the virtual machine from the attached ISO image and begin the Windows 11 installation. Click next. Click next. Select install Windows 11 and select the checkbox and click next. I'm going to select Windows 11 LTSC evaluation image and click next. Click on accept to accept the Microsoft license terms. Create a new partition or install it on the unallocated space. I'm going to install it in the unallocated space. Click Next. Windows uses the entire unallocated space if you do not specify the size. Click on Install to begin the Windows 11 installation. The installation of Windows 11 has started. This process will take some time to complete and your VM will restart several times during the installation. This is how you can create a VM for Windows 11 on Hyper-V using PowerShell. Following the steps outlined in this video will allow you to create a fully functional Windows 11 VM on Hyper-V more quickly than using the GUI. This method is especially useful for those who need to deploy multiple VMs rapidly and efficiently. That's all for this video on how to create a VM for Windows 11 on Hyper-V using Windows PowerShell. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.